Hey what's up guys and welcome back to Silver Ridge Peaks Part 7. This is going to be a real short episode compared to the rest just because this is this is the end. So this is just oh. the finishing of the map. And so hope you guys enjoy. There's the break in the trees. There should be some tracks for you to follow. Whoever it was that drove in here got out. Follow the footprints. Look, there's blood on the ground. Keep following that trail. Look, there's blood on the ground. Keep following that trail. Tree. It's been marked. Is that a hand? A bloody handprint? That's really not a good sign. Whose blood is on his hands? This seems to be the end of the trail. Look, there's blood on the ground. <laughs> Keep following that trail. There's a little patch of disturbed soil. Did they bury something? It's a rusty old saw blade. Oh, it's the saw blade that had been attached to the dig team's rock saw. But why detach it from the saw and bury it unless it was important? Take another look at the blade. It's not just rusty, is it? It's got blood on it. I'd bet it's the Vandal's blood, too. Okay, don't touch the blade. L leave it there. The deputy's on their way. They'll probably want to talk to you. I think we've just found the missing piece of the puzzle. Great work. I've got an update. Junior and his friend were just pulled over by the state police. Guess who has a nasty gash across their hand? Good morning, my friend. I hope you've enjoyed the last few days of uninterrupted peace and tranquility. I've just said goodbye to the last of the deputies team. They've gathered up all the evidence they think they'll need. While you've been busy hunting and exploring, I've been in interviews or giving statements to the police, the board, and <laughs> even the local press. I haven't stopped or slowed down for what feels like at least a week now. I doubt today will be very different. I wanted to catch up with you this morning as I wanted to express my gratitude for the work you've done and ask you for one last big favor. I know I mentioned my dad's concern that there was a more spiritual reason for why things have been tough at the reserve. I can't say that I necessarily agree with him, but I'd like to do something to make him feel better. This job involves a journey to the top of Mount Silver Ridge. I don't trust anyone else to do this. Can you make it to the start of the trail? I think I ought to tell you why I'm sending you over there, right? So, 
Since my dad got sick and I took over the warden position, we've sort of stopped doing a lot of the things that we used to do together. Sadly, this has resulted in us both missing the bear dance back in spring. I know it means a lot to my dad, and I feel bad that we weren't able to make it. <laughs> it can get pretty tense when we discuss our culture back home. Dad and I see the world through different lenses. I am proud of my heritage and where I come from, but I don't want it to define me as a person. Dad sees that as me turning my back on my community. Since we both missed the bear dance, I plan to make it up to Dad by attending the sun dance in a week's time. You're probably wondering what this has to do with you walking up a mountain, right? Just before I was born, my grandfather climbed Mount Silver Ridge and stashed a pair of quartz rattles at the top. When I was a teenager, my dad showed me them and told me that they were only to be brought down the mountain in times of dire need. I think that if I bring those rattles with me to the Sundance, Dad will appreciate that I've accepted their significance and paid respect to our beliefs. So, after helping pull the reserve back together, I'm hoping you'll help me comfort my dad. <laughs> I hope I'm not asking too much. have inhabited this region for centuries, sharing a language and culture. The 12 bands stretch from Utah in the northwest to Colorado and New Mexico in the southeast. The uncam... The uncompargre... The uncam... Uncompargre... Uth band lives here as a nomadic hunter gatherers moving up into the Sun Sisters Mountains to hunt in the summer and wintering in the valleys. They are known for being one of the first people to harness terriboluminescence. Ceremonial rattles made from translucent buffalo skins are filled with cord crystals that produce flashes of light under mechanical stress when shaken. Okay, so this is it, the Silver Ridge Trail. I really appreciate you taking the time to do this. I can promise you that the views from the top are worth the climb. Plus, you never know what you might be able to hunt on the way, right? While you're on your way up, why don't I fill you in on the recent news? So, first things first, Junior. I have some mixed news there. Was it Junior that terrorized the reserve? Almost certainly yes. He has, however, been released from prison after one of Daddy's lawyers stepped in to save him. <laughs> He's so cocky that he actually gave an interview to a reporter, but kept using phrases like we and us, as well as the Simpkins family, which raised a few red flags. I am confident that the evidence we've gathered and Bobby Joe's testimony will help to bring the truth out, though. Anyway, in light of everything that went on here, the police are looking at the whole Simpkins family, not just Junior. I suspect that Simpkins Sr. saw an opportunity to get his payback on the APAR for brainwashing Timothy, the reserve for pushing him off the board, and on my family after my dad reported his eldest son to the police. Oh, and speaking of the board, they've really been great in the last couple of days. They've been really supportive and appreciative of how this mess has been dealt with. I'm getting a lot of the credit, but I keep telling them you were doing most of the work out there in the reserve. If there was ever any doubt from the board that I was right in hiring you, it's gone now. In fact, 
The work that you and Remy have done is already having a strong effect on our bookings. Next week's schedule is already filling up fast. It's amazing up there, isn't it? I've only made the climb a handful of times, but it's such a great view. The rattles should be easy to find. They're in a protective case. Mission accomplished. Thank you. This means a lot to me. Enjoy the view from the top. You earned it. Our outlook is so much brighter, just because you're here with us. When I get back from the Sundance, why don't we spend some time hunting together? The media attention has actually had some unforeseen side effects. Some government inspectors are coming out to visit the polluted lake. I guess there is such a thing as bad press, huh? I'm gonna go get ready for that meeting. Hopefully, we can get things moving again. Take care. We'll catch up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. It was very short because I didn't realize how kind of close I was to the end with the last episode. But hope you guys enjoyed the ending as we found out more about, or as we found out the uh, reason and who was doing it. I also will probably be doing a video talking about my channel here soon just because I am going to be making some decent sized decisions with what is going on with my channel so be on the lookout for that um and i'll be explaining why i'm taking kind of a day break in between videos so hope you guys enjoy this video and be on the lookout for this uh explanation video that'll be coming out soon hope you enjoyed and i'll see you good times